Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the effects of two uh, drugs, propofol, which we all know and love, and a new experimental anesthetic, KSEB. KSEB is a specific uh, selective agonist for GABA A slow synapses, whereas propofol acts at GABA A fast, GABA A slow and uh, GABA-A tonic receptors. The work I'll talk about today is a collaboration between our group at Stanford led by uh, Ed Bertaccini, as well as Hillary uh, McCarran's group at the US Army uh, Chemical Defense Lab and George Mashur's group at the University of Michigan. So we took some rats and uh, put screw electrodes in their skull to measure frontal EEG activity, which we then subjected to spectral analysis and chaos or nonlinear dynamic analysis of the chaotic attractors formed from the EEG. Now, as you can see, propofol produced the classic increase in delta uh, frequency activity across animals here, and also produced a, a marked depression of slow wave activity below a half a hertz across animals as well. And this is after loss of writing reflex and before loss of writing reflex. KSEB on the other hand, produced a selective increase in theta frequency activity across animals. And this occurred with an increase in delta frequency activity as well. You can see with the purple arrows here. Now, quantitatively, it turns out that uh, propofol didn't produce any significant changes across loss of writing reflex. And this is uh, consistent with earlier work from George's lab in both people and rats and work in our lab in people. Um, however, KSEB produced a marked increase in theta activity and a depression in gamma frequency activity. Now this is interesting because um, some models of gamma and theta rhythm generation posit that GABA A slow inhibitory interneurons underlie theta rhythms by impinging rhythmical activity on pyramidal neurons, whereas the GABA A fast cells generate gamma frequency oscillations also impinging upon the same pyramidal neurons. So that's exactly what we saw, an increase in theta activity and a de decrease in gamma activity that's consistent with this model because the GABA-A slow inhibitory interneurons inhibit the GABA-A fast cells. So you would expect as theta goes up, gamma should go down. And again, that's precisely what we saw. Now, our lab's been looking at an alternative approach to frequency domain measures using nonlinear dynamics uh, and looking at chaotic attractors formed by the EEG. And in people, we find this works much better at predicting loss of consciousness or loss of verbal response in patients. And uh, we get nice recovery on recovery of, of response. This is work that's uh, been done, uh, published in several papers uh, with the head author of uh, Sarah Eagleman. Turns out that in rats, we see the same thing. Propofol produces a decrease in the uh, ratios of the attractor length to width, as does KSEB at loss of writing reflex. So to conclude, our results fit well with models of theta and gamma rhythm um, oscill oscillations based on GABA A slow and fast inhibition of pyramidal neurons. Be happy to answer any questions and look forward uh, to chatting about this.